I'm going to show you how to rapidly generate great looking titles, graphic elements and effects directly inside your Avid timeline using Titler Pro from New Blue Effects. In these tutorials, we'll be focusing on using Titler Pro version 1 with Avid Media Composer version 6, running on a MacBook Pro under 10.7. However, in addition to Avid Media Composer and Symphony versions 5 and 6, Titler Pro on the Mac is also available for Adobe CS5 and CS6, FCP7, and coming soon, FCP10. And in terms of Windows-based NLEs that support New Blue Effects Titler Pro, you've got Avid Media Composer and Symphony version 5 and 6 again. You've got Adobe CS6, Grass Valley EDIA 6, Sony Vegas Pro 10 and 11. If you want to try it out for yourself on your own NLE, you can download the free trial from the URL on the screen. Once Titler Pro is installed, you can open up your NLE and get to work. In Avid Media Composer and Symphony, you will see the new effects categories in the left column of the effect palette. You have New Blue Titler Pro, which contains the Titler Pro effect itself, and then you have New Blue Starter Pack, which contains a number of effects to begin using with your titles. So these are the categories and effects you'll get by default when you install Titler Pro. But with New Blue Effects, there are also additional plugins that you can add to your system to increase both your effects options as well as the capabilities of Titler Pro. So that's why you can see these additional categories, motion blends, motion effects, and video essentials. And as you can see, each of these categories contains a range of transition and segment-based effects that I can use on my video or on my titles or, of course, both. So here's a sequence where I have some pre-rendered examples of the kinds of work you can do very quickly in Titler Pro. Rolls and crawls, lower thirds, main titles, and transition elements. So here in Avid Media Composer, I have a simple montage sequence of Venice Beach. Let's assume that we've been asked by a producer to quickly add some text to liven things up. So this is the first shot where we're gonna add a title. Now I could just add the title directly to the clip, or if I want, I can add the title to the layer above the clip. It's totally your choice. So I'm gonna add my title to the V2 track. I've marked an area using Add Edits. Next, I'm gonna find my new blue effects categories in the effects palette. Here's the title of Pro effect in its own category. Drag and drop that onto the marked area. Now immediately, we see the words Enter Text. This is the default starting condition of the effect. To edit the effect, we must bring up the Media Composer Effect Editor window. I like to do this by entering my own customized effects editing workspace. So once we have the Effect Editor window open, we'll see the Titler Pro effect icon, and the only control displayed is Launch Titler Pro Interface, which is exactly what we want to do. Once in Titler Pro, notice how clean the interface is. We have these four main areas of the application. The lower portion of the interface contains the timeline, where we can select specific objects that we're working on. Above, we have the preview area, and to the left, we have access to the object controls on the attributes tab, and a range of presets under the library tab. And then finally, there is the menu ribbon at the top of the application. For this first example, I'm gonna share with you how fast you can start having fun and getting results with Titler Pro. To begin, I'm simply going to alter the text to what we need here, which is surf, S-U-R-F. Now, over here on the left in the controls area, I'm going to choose the library tab. And here we have effects, shapes, styles, templates, and transitions. Now, templates are fully built presets, which include styles, effects, and transitions already applied. So let's go there first, since this will give us a great introduction to the wide range of things we can achieve using Titler Pro. By hovering my mouse over the presets in this category, I can preview a range of 2D and 3D text styles, complete with effects and transitions. As you can see, when animations or time-based effects need to be previewed, Titler Pro will temporarily hide the video layer and play the title and any effects back in real time over a background color of your choosing. Here, I've chosen 50% gray. So there we go, there's a range of different templates there. So another way though, that we could use these presets, this library of presets, but which will give you perhaps more control would be to instead start with a style. So let's go up to the styles here. And again, we wanna hover over to check them out. Notice this time we are only selecting a text style and attributes. So there are no effects or transitions applied. 
as we saw with the, the actual templates themselves. So once you find a style that you like, just double click on it to apply. I like this one here, sticker. Happy with my style, I can use my on-screen controls in the preview area to change the position and scale. I can do a quick 2D rotation if I like, or I can use full 3D controls. Let's just reset that. Now I have a style, let's choose a transition in and out. Here we go, up to the library and then to transitions, and then within animations, I'm going to choose the pop-up category here. Again, there's a range of different effects. I like this one here, it's called Spring Up, so I'm going to double click to apply. Now, let's look for our out transition. Again, within animations, I'm going to choose the fly in category there and have a look around within this category. I like the peel letters, that's what we're going to apply, double click. And so now, if I'm happy at this point, I can simply exit Titler Pro to return back to the Media Composer effects mode. As you can see, the results of the work that we did is now applied to the Media Composer timeline. If I want to now create a series of themed graphics, then the fastest way would be to now drag and drop this effect icon from the Effect Editor window to the next section of the sequence that I want to title. Make sure that you have selected the segment that you want to edit and return to the effects mode or just reinitiate the effect editor window. Now I can choose to launch the Titler Pro interface again, change the text from surf to shop in this case, so S-H-O-P. Perhaps adjust the end position. Maybe I also want to go back to my library and to styles and to change the text style. So perhaps I'll choose this one here, duck. Uh, but everything else will remain exactly the same. Again, we can exit Titler Pro to return back to the Media Composer effects mode. And again, drag and drop this effect icon onto the next section of the sequence. So now select that segment, re-enter Titler Pro, and we'll change the text from shop to skate. S-K-A-T-E. Change the end position again, and return back to the library, to styles, find ourselves a new style, apply that, and again, now we can exit Titler Pro, return to source record editing mode, mark the range of the timeline covering the title clips we just created, choose render into out from the clip menu, and there we go, super fast, super easy, and with many, many templates to choose from or modify.